Okay, welcome back. So in the last video, we looked at how to read uh, a single row. Uh, in other words, uh, do a query for a single row. So I want to extend this um, because notice we were asking for the three columns. Uh, usually we ask for the entire row. All right, so we ask for all uh, five columns. So what I want to do um, I want to let, let me uh, change this. So I'm going to alter this uh, a bit. All right. And so what I want to do, I will want to select all the columns. So select all from quotations where quotation ID is whatever is passed in. Now, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to create five individual variables, okay? So we don't want to do that. And as a result, we're gonna get rid of that, okay? All right, let's get rid of this too. Oops. All right, so those variables are no longer used. So we have to remove it from here too. Okay. So where am I going to store my row that is returned? Where am I going to store those five columns? Well, the way we do it, the, the command pattern is to create a struct. Okay, so I'm gonna come all the way up here outside of main. Okay, right here. And I'm gonna create a struct. Okay, so a struct. Right, to hold a quote. All right, so I'm going to say type, and the type is going to be a struct, and we're going to call it capital Q quote, quotation. Okay. Oops. All right, quotation. And it's of type struct, right? The type always comes at the end. Okay. So uh, this struct, uh, this quotation struct, you can think of it as a as a as an object or a class, um, and it will contain all the columns. So when I say a quotation, I mean something that has the five columns. So all I'm going to do is going to say quotation underscore ID. Notice I'm using capital for the first letter. That's an int. Okay. And you have looked at structs before um, in the Go uh, tutorial. All right. So we have insertion uh, date. I'm using capital I. And in Go, Anything that is uh, of type date in Postgres will be time dot time. Okay, so we need to import the time uh, package. What Visual Studio Code does it for me automatically, All right? And so uh, we also need to have the author name string. We need to have the category string and we need to have the quote, which is also of type string. Okay. So uh, this is my quotation struct. And so I will now come back to main. So again. I did this, and so now I have an area, I have an object, I have something that I can store all my five columns. And so all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna simply say, uh, I'm gonna create, let's call it Q of type quotation, okay? So Q, is an instance of my quotation struct. 
All right? So Q will be able to hold uh, all five columns. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say I want to pass Q dot Quotation ID, Q dot insertion date, uh, Q dot author name, okay, uh, Q dot category and q dot court no court save that okay so this is my shop q is an instance of quotation and so i am going to pass uh, q to scan okay all five of the uh, variables that is found in Q, right? And then I'm going to do my scan. If there are any errors, I'm going to check. And if there are no errors, if there is nil, I'm just going to print Q. Okay, I'm going to print Q. All right, so again, all I did was instead of having to write or create five separate variables I simply created a struct which made it more organized right and so here I don't have to say uh, quotation ID and insertion date and author name and category and quote all I can do is to say print Q okay and go will just print Q so go run main dot go Okay, and so notice uh, we have uh, in curly brace the quotation ID, the date, okay, um, the author, category, and of course the quote. All right, so. All I did was to do a bit of organization, create a struct. That's all I did, all right? So hopefully you saw uh, the transition we made from uh, the previous video to this one. And this one is important because you will see this a lot where uh, things coming out of a database or, or things coming from uh, some online operation uh, the results will be placed in a struct. All right, that's just a command pattern in Go. Um, and you will see that uh, in the following weeks. All right, um, and videos. So that's it. Uh, we now know how to uh, query the database for a single row. Okay, so uh, next we will look at uh, how do we process, how do we get multiple rows. So, for example, if I want to get all the rows from the quotation table, uh, how do I do that? All right. So, I'll see you in that video where we uh, deal with that particular problem.